Hello everybody and thank you for coming back to yet another episode of The Gloving Paradigm. I am your host Peter aka LPD8 Dubuque and this week it's going to be a very interesting week because you know as we all know we're kind of still dealing with the current state of everything and you know what else can we do about it besides just staying home all the time no matter what which is really boring sometimes but this is what this episode is going to be for is to help you deal with this uh kind of cabin feverish niche thing going on around the world and i figured what better way to help people out with that instead of just talking about you know what they can be working on and things like that let's have a little bit more fun and talk about games such as gloving games so <laughs> this is what this episode is going to be about it's going to be about like what kind of games that you can play with other people either online or in person if you're able to hang out with people in person or, you know, in, in those weird bubbles that, you know, like, bubble boy, anyone? No? No? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> that's totally fine. That's totally fine. I know I'm a very weird person and I hope you guys enjoy my weirdness when it shows. Sometimes it kind of freaks people out, but that's fine. That's fine. It's totally fine. So, getting right into this, there are many games that people have come up with over the years when it comes to gloving. You know, you pretty much can take any other game that we've had out there and port it into some fashion, you know, apply gloving to it, and that's totally fine. And I would love to get more of these games out there, you know, for people to try out and actually have fun with. So if you actually like the ideas that I'm going to drop on you or what has been established for pretty much a long time now with a lot of people in the gloving community that you get inspired to create up your own gloving game please do not hesitate to like leave a comment on any of the posts i leave that you're like hey let's try out this gloving game so people can actually try it out like you know you, you come up with the name of the game you give the, the basic rules and then you let people go off from there you know that's that's what i would like to see so hopefully with, with what I'm going to drop on you guys today, you guys will pretty much understand like the idea of what I'm trying to go for and things like that. Uh, yeah, so let's get right into the, the thick of it. If you're a new Glover who's just started out and you haven't heard any of these games, it's totally understandable. No one will actually blame you just because the sheer fact that not a lot of people do this very often and it was popular way back in the day and it's only been around for a while and sometimes it comes up, sometimes it doesn't. You know, uh, so the first game I would like to actually talk about is the game of glove, which if you don't know what the game of glove is, it's really, really simple. If you just think about it, if you've ever played the game horse or any version of the game horse, you know, where you go take a shot and, you know, with the basketball into a basketball hoop. And if the person can't do the exact same shot, they get the letter. When it comes to gloving, though, the game of glove is basically... You, you set up the parameters of how many sets or movements you're going to have. So, you know, typical is a three, you know, three point setup. So, you know, you do one, two, three, and it's three different little moves that the person has to replicate in some fashion and end up in the same position that you are in. And it goes on back and forth until somebody messes up and they get the letter. And of course, once you spell the letter or the word glove, that person loses, the other person wins, so on and so forth, you know very 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 basic uh you know this is one that i will even tell you that we <laughs> i introduced to a lot of the newer glovers when i was actually on the worldwide gloving groups uh discord chat uh i will definitely tell everybody if you're not on that discord chat you need to get on there because there are a lot of people on there that you get to hang out with and all they want to do is just practice gloving and enjoy their time with gloving you know, and actually she had a lot of great discussions with everybody. Everybody was like shocked to find out that I was the host of this podcast and shows up and they're like, holy crap, you're here? I'm like, yeah, I just had nothing better to do on my, what, I don't even remember. I think it was a Tuesday afternoon. I was just hanging out. <laughs> you know, so I would say the game of Glove has been a very, you know, a time old tradition of the gloving community. You know, uh, Amazing Lights even had... <laughs> even had videos of people playing the game to like show people like what you can do and actually the thing that i love about this this game is that it not only gets to have two people interact with each other on the same kind of platform but also push each other to see how well the other person can actually perform and adapt to 
many different situations. And it's a great learning experience. You get to teach people certain moves because like you would do something and they can't do it. You're like, okay, you need to teach me how to do this. And that gives you the opportunity to teach and to learn and all that stuff. It's probably one of the best things about the game of glove. You know, that's that's the best part about it is that you get this opportunity for teaching and learning. Now granted, I will certainly say all of this, you know, all the games that we have out there so far for gloving does that but i feel like the game of glove is the, the perfect one it is like the, the perfect one to you know sit down with somebody and just try something out and have them try to learn from it you know on the spot it's really great stuff okay so with that being said let's actually go to another one and this one i will certainly tell you it's been suggested by you know the very well-known glover of jess uh, and he calls it gloving telephone so basically the rules are is you sit in a circle you know uh i would <laughs> If I had to put a number of people who had to participate in this in the minimum, I would say three. Uh, that's the absolute minimum. Now, if you actually wanted to make it very much more interesting, I would say anywhere from five to more than five. If you can get up to 10, that would be like the ideal number in my head. Just because, you know, if you ever played the actual game of telephone where you, you know, have a bunch of people around and watch what happens to what's set in the very beginning where it comes all the way back around, it can changes completely. Uh, you know, sometimes on purpose, sometimes on not. But gloving telephone is basically you sit in a circle, you make one to two counts, and then you send it to the next person who adds on to that. You know, uh, this I find to be a very good, and I wouldn't say team building exercise. It can be used as a team building exercise, but this really helps show people how they can actually work together and actually come up with stuff together. You know, because you're just like, here, I did this. Can you add on to it? Okay, you did. Now let's see what the other people can do. You know, that's. It's always, again, another learning opportunity, another great teaching opportunity to help people really work and understand what they need to do about the, the craft, right? So, Gloving Telephone, love the idea. Thank you, Jess, for actually suggesting that. It is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, once again, that you really said that one. I actually really like that idea. Now, I will certainly say, with the current state of everything, if you actually get on to any of the Discord chats or any chats that you can, you know, video chatting with any of the Glovers, I would say get like a team of four in there and try this game out it is a lot of fun. I can't remember what the other game was called, but that we actually played in in the chat. But uh, basically, uh, they they give you a an idea of what you need to work with. So like. You can only do dials or you have to keep your hands, you know, rigidly straight and they have, you know, your fingers have to keep touching each other no matter what. You can't separate your fingers out on your hands, you know. You know, they give you some kind of, I didn't want to say handicap, but they give you some kind of, you know, parameter that you have to follow, you know, and you just see what you can do, you know, and just kind of, it gives you this idea to... Okay, you have a situation that you have to kind of work around. You know, it's you know, it's one of those restrictions. And you know, like I said in many episodes before, restrictions breeds creativity. So if you restrict somebody on something, it gets them to get those creative juices flowing. Uh, I would certainly say it was a lot of fun playing that with the guys on on chat. Uh, again, you guys were absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Reggie, conversing with me and all this stuff. It was absolutely wonderful. You know, so. Yet that, <laughs> there's another game that I want to also kind of point out, which is what somebody says, uh, see one, send one, and I ask them what are the rules. As soon as you receive a sequence, you send the sequence back. You know, uh, I wouldn't say that it's just pretty much trading because trading is just like you do a full show, the other person does a full show. Uh, the send one, uh, see one, send one, I would certainly say is literally, the best way I can actually describe this is uh, there's a band that I listen to that I'm, I very much like listening to called the XX. When they came to their earlier albums, they would actually like send a lyric. You know, the two singers would actually send lyrics to each other, uh, and it, they would just kind of like, "Here's a lyric." Uh, I just thought it was really poetic and whatnot. And then the other person would send something back, kind of like having a response of, in a way of dialogue without it being dialogue. It's just lyrics being bounced off of each other. So I really like this idea. This really actually helps people look at a concept that somebody throws out or a sequence and sees what they can actually do with that sequence and sends it back you know uh, it allows people to show what you know the differences in what they think and how they approach a sequence or anything like that so again i know in the current state <laughs> of the world right now that we're you know we all have to do this all online and, it, and i really hate it too it's really really dumb but it is what it is and 
Again, if you're on the Discord chat for Worldwide Club and Group, it's actually wonderful. You get to, you get to hang out with a lot of people who also want to have fun and enjoy themselves. So please do not hesitate to get on there. So one thing that I actually thought was really cool, there hasn't been a name for it, but this is something I feel like it's a little bit more of an in-person thing than rather than online. You can do it online, but I actually think this looks way, way better in person, or it sounds way better in person. Um, this, uh, this particular person, Chris, who I'm going to just refer to as, uh, said that there's this one thing that he used to do with his homies where they would build off of a sequence, one person to start it, and then a whole, you know, put a whole show together sequence by sequence. Uh, again, it's kind of like see one, send one, but I feel like how he was describing it was more in person, and I like that idea. Uh, you know, uh, especially if you want to try to, like, use these in terms of you know, learning how to work with each other when you guys want to do doubles, you know, or, you know, when you have more than just one person doing a show, you know, these, these games do actually help not only teach you, like, how to approach concepts, but it also gives you these opportunities to work with each other on working, you know, reading each other and learning how the other person operates in terms of, like, doing doubles and stuff, you know, where you're not actually having to have, like, these choreographed set pieces uh, you know what I mean? Uh, but you're just able to learn to adapt and read the other person, like where they're wanting to go and where you can go with it. You know, so those those are the ideas that I kind of want to get across. So <laughs> I will certainly say that, yes, this is a very, very short episode just because there's not a whole lot of games out there. However, I will certainly say if you actually have a gloving game that you and your friends like to do a lot, and I mean a lot, please do not hesitate to let me know because I would like to spread that that knowledge out and let people have all these different kinds of games that they can enjoy themselves with when it comes to gloving because you know <laughs> gloving isn't just doing a show in front of somebody and you know being at a festival and stuff you know there it, there goes a lot deeper than that where you can actually have you know again you can have gloving games where you actually get to have these interactions with other people that's just you know beyond just like I can do this move and you can do that move you know it's, it allows this learning opportunity between everybody and I know that's probably sounding like a broken record at this point but yes any opportunity of playing and having fun and interacting with other members of the community is always going to be a learning opportunity for you and the person you're interacting with so if there's any questions that were not covered in this topic you do have the various outlets that you can hit me up at of course I do have the Facebook page which is aptly named the gloving paradigm you can always hit me up there I'm always on there I always keep my eye on it I try to do as much as I can you know, uh, <laughs> trying to balance everything out that's going on here at home, but it's totally fine. And of course, I am on Reddit, so if you go on Reddit and go look for the username Mutton Chop Guy, that is where I'm at. I'm always on our gloving as well, so do not hesitate to get on Reddit there. Of course, I do have an email, which is muttonchopguy at gmail.com. You can always send me an email there. If you actually come up with a new game and you have like the whole rule set and everything is on like a text document, you can just email me that and I will definitely try to showcase that so people will learn it. And I'll definitely give you the credit because I want to give people the credit where credit is due, you know. <laughs> so, of course, I do have a Discord server myself, which the link to that will be in this episode's description. So do not hesitate to click on there before. It does not take any issue to get in there. And that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys did enjoy this episode. I know it's a little bit shorter than it usually is that's totally fine you know it is me just trying to get out that information for you guys to try to enjoy yourselves and try to you know work together on just getting better at the at the craft you know and gloving games in my opinion is the perfect way to do that so really do hope you guys have been enjoying yourselves i really hope you guys have been taking care of yourselves you know again if you definitely want to talk to me do not hesitate to hit me up at any of those various places i am actually going to try to work more on trying to be uh, more visible in the Discord chat to the Worldwide Gloving Group as well as my own Discord chat. I have actually thoroughly enjoyed what I, you know, my time with the Discord chat and you know with WWG. It was great. So do not hesitate to get onto that Facebook group and get onto that Discord chat. You know. So, but yes, that is pretty much all for my episode. Thank you so much for everybody who has liked the page so far, who has been showing their support to this wonderful awesome podcast that i've been doing in my little room all by myself all the time you know i definitely would like to hear more from you guys if you guys have any more ideas it'd be really great so once again thank you so much for liking the page thank you so much for showing your support i absolutely love you guys but i am your host peter aka lpd dubuque and i'll see you guys all next week <laughs>